Next, during the Civil War, the Union Army had created entire regiments of invalid soldiers to serve on active duty in a rear guard capacity. These soldiers had already sacrificed great, greatly, including amputations, but they still wanted to serve. They had altruistic reasons. My sacrifice was for a greater cause. They had practical ones, too. They needed to eat. So I tracked the actual movements of one of these such regiments, the 18th, from its inception in Washington, D.C., down the, down the Potomac by boat, uh, to uh, the Belle Plaine, Virginia, which no longer exists, and culminating in a two-day, 25-mile force march where they averaged less than one mile an hour. Now they serve with honor and distinction to a man. They were all volunteers. By 1864, a good chunk of the Union Army were conscripts and draftees. These people could leave any time they wanted to. They chose to stay. Now, I read about that in a book written by Bruce Catton, and I'll get to that in a second, A Stillness at Appomattox. He devotes three pages to it. This is probably the iconic narrative nonfiction of the Civil War, Stillness at Appomattox. And if you were a history major in college or even in high school, you may have been required to read it. I was. I never did. I was not a good student. All right, so I read it when I was 55 years old. All right, and that sang to me. It was a story that had to be told. So uh, I, I can't get a better bio than what I got from Lloyd, but this is basically uh, my uh, two cents worth. This is the